Hey guys, welcome to Retro Talks. Today we're going to be talking about what's wrong with Sonic Forces. So, you guys probably heard of Sonic Forces, a new game made by Sega. It's the 3D counterpart to Sonic Mania, yes. But, there's a main problem with it. It's a personal pet peeve of mine, but the main problem I have is, you see this game here, the original Sonic, we're going to try a level in it and it will show you exactly what's wrong with Sonic Forces' levels. I will show you that right after this. As you see here, Sonic moves pretty good. This is the second stage, by the way. His character moves pretty good, and it's pretty smooth. In Sonic Forces, you'll not see much. As you see this, there's no spin dash because you can maintain a lot of speed, but in Sonic Forces, they had to add a spin dash because they couldn't get the physics right. Like, if you play Sonic Forces, you will see in many levels, you can. F there's a lot of glitches in that game. Yes, this one has a debug mode that's easy to get, but that was intentional. Sonic Forces? No. Yes, I know it's. Yes, I'm terrible at the game, but I think that's enough to see how good this game was. Now. I'm going to pause it and show you guys. So if you look, let me get the video right. Right on there. Sorry if the video is not that good. Terrible photographer. Okay, as you're going to see here, as I'm controlling Classic Sonic, you will see two problems. One, he does not maintain speed. And two, he is so much heavier. He falls so much faster. The original Sonic, he falls a lot slower. Yes, this one goes about the same height, but this one goes ten times faster down. So you know what that means, right? Stages that These stages aren't built for that amount of momentum down. So this could screw up the whole formula. We're gonna play a level and show you the problems. The momentum, how slippery he feels. They just destroyed the hedgehog here. Like I mean, like I lose immediate speed after that long ramp. Usually you'd keep your speed in a normal circumstance, but they had to change that. And the spin dash is what they're telling you to do. I use one spin dash, you have to charge it up rapidly to be able to do anything. And if I get up, I can't, you can't get more than a hundred rings in this. This is nothing. If they had to bring back something, they had to bring back the blocks. I'd never like these. In the original game. I'm terrible at these, I'm terrible at Sonic games, but... You can see the problems arising. Got a red coin. Pretty bad at this game, but as you see here, these problems become more imminent. I've never liked Boost Sonic stages because they're really annoying. These are the stages I like, and they have a lot of problems. So yeah, overall, Sonic Forces is a decent game. It's not bad. But compared to the classics where Sega knew what they were doing, it was really good. This game is is sad in a nutshell. It's not good. Like, like I don't understand why they even have classic Sonic. Sonic Generations, it made sense in the story. This, they just throw them in there for nostalgia bait. It just bothers me that they're just going to throw something in there. Why can't they just have modern Sonic? They'll take the Genesis name. So, that was just me ranting about Sonic Forces and how bad it is for like five minutes. Signing all out. See you in the next video.